Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to today's video all about how to pass your upcoming financial management, that's the F9 paper, it's going through some top student tips with a student who's finished 12th in the world, also first place for Central Asia and that also equated to a score of 82%. I'm delighted to be joined by Mira Fazal today, who's going to walk and talk us through all yeah. of his top tips that led him to be 12th in the world. We are not worthy to have you on the channel, Mira Fazal, but thank you yeah. so much for your time. Feel free to introduce yourself, my friend. Okay. Hello, everybody. So my name is Mira Fazal. I, I am a university student currently studying financial um, economics in Financial Institute of Tashkent. And also I work as a financial manager. And apart from that, I'm, I, I'm, I have been recognized as an ACCA student a, a year and a half year, times ago. Mm -hmm. And so here, here I am today uh, sharing some tips how to pass your financial management exam, uh, not with 50, but actually putting the benchmark over 60. Marvelous. And we're going to get we're going to dive straight into it, Mira Fazal. I mean, yeah. if I was to say to you, what is the first major tip for anyone to get a top score on financial management? What did you do from your experience? Well, the first major tip is, is uh, like before starting actually the course, uh, why don't you go to the YouTube and, and like just uh, write financial management ACCA because ACCA has quite informative introduction videos there. That, that gives you the, the insights. What is that all about? So what's the key areas that you have to focus on? And the major tip is that before starting, just understand what is it. That, that's the first major tip. Mm -hmm. And I think, and also finish the entire syllabus. That's the first, <laughs> I think that's more important than the first one. So it's, it's, it's not a good idea to walk in the exam room not finishing the entire syllabus but hoping to pass with 50 that will that will somehow decrease your score and you will put your score under the risk but that, that that's the major tip yeah oh exactly and uh, i was just reading about the uh, the financial managers external examiners report and, and section a is absolutely spot on to what you've just been talking about they can test <laughs> anything on there exactly well but uh coming on to the exam then uh, back to it in your mind you've got section a b and c what was your approach how did you get on which section did you do first of all well uh i usually go the textbook method a b and c mm -hmm. and but uh and i, I did the same way as uh, section a i started with section a and i i usually spent acca says it's 1.8 minutes per mark but I usually finish section A and B within an hour. I, 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 will, I will try to do that. I, I will try to do that. And I started with section A. Section A is pretty easy, uh, to be honest. Mm -hmm. The most difficult is section B. And uh, because section A has, I had actually nine or 10, if I'm not mistaken, theoretical questions. Yeah. So, so you, you just need to have the understanding. So answer the question and move on to the next question. So, so you, multiple, you don't, multiple choice, isn't it? Yeah, multiple choice is this. And then I moved to section B, which is more complicated with working capital, you know, yeah. lots of things there. And then I moved to section C. So mm -hmm. textbook method A, B, and C, but mostly the financial management examiners say that go for A, go for C, and finally come back to B. Mm. And because B b is the most difficult part of the exam it's my opinion and i think it's true it's I, I i agree with you it's uh, it's got calculations it's got knowledge in there and it's also you've got to be careful with the units as well yeah. there are so many different variables that yeah. if you've got to write an answer in millions and it yeah. doesn't say million on the end and, uh, and yeah. you write the actual number remember yeah. section b the computer marks it versus section c a human marks it on there yeah 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 no. and also uh, before preparation for um, i actually uh, passed aa and i i took the courses from paul marathon perhaps you know about him lsbf and he's he used to say go for written part section c firstly 
then come back to section B, because if you have less time, you cannot predict the written part, but you can predict in multiple choice. So that's why I put section B at, at the end, usually. Yeah, it's usually the tricky area, and uh, there'll be lots of financial management students out there thinking about time management, Mira Vazel. Yeah. I mean, how did you, you balance that? Did you do lots of questions before the exam to time? What was your approach? Yeah, my approach was I, I usually take three mock exams under like exam conditions. Mm -hmm. I lock the door, I will put the alarm and I, I will sit straight. And every time I finish section A, I check the time. So mm -hmm. how much time did I spend? And I say, oh, I have to be a, bit, a little bit quick. If I have some time, okay, don't worry. Uh, go ahead. So I always check the time. I finish five questions. I look at the time there I, because I have my time like at the top screen there and I always check it. So the key is you have to practice it under exam conditions. And if you have practiced under exam conditions in the exam, you will, it will be just, exam will be as easy as it's like a walk in the park. <laughs> no, lots of students here taking down notes going easy. Walk in the park, James. We'll <laughs> have to see about that. And um, from, from a uh, schedule as to when you started doing financial management to when you sat the exam, how long did you take? I mean, how long did you spend doing the questions, revision? But break it down for us for okay. uh, and nice and easy. Yeah, I actually uh, took financial management in December 2021. And uh, I knew, I'm like, you know, People understand you have job, you have university, you have ACCA, it's quite difficult to balance. Mm -hmm. And I first passed law exam within 25 or, or so days, and then I started financial management. So I almost spent one and uh, one month and 15 or 10 days. So what I did, I just uh, didn't go as the book recommended, like Kaplan, BPP, Okay. I, I started exactly from section C, investment appraisal, uh, VAC calculations, yeah. social finance. Working capital. Yeah. Working capital. Yeah. I, I finished these core areas, like, uh, and then I started the risk management, financial management. And like, usually I read the theoretical part at the end, like two days before the exam, mm -hmm. I go for the theoretical part, I learn it, I, I kind of understand, I watch a couple of YouTube videos and that's it. So I spent one month and 10 days and I have spent around 10 days for revision. So what was the revision? I finished Kaplan and BPP exam kits again. So section A and B, I'm talking about section A and B. And for section C, I haven't attempted any like textbook questions. Any. Okay. I just went for past paper. So I, cal I counted. So I have 12 past papers with two questions on it. 24 yeah. section C questions, that's enough. Oh, that's yes. Enough. <laughs> so you, you, did, you did all of the past papers on ACCA's website. Uh, yeah, exactly. All Marvelous. Well, it's just to add context as to lots of people who have clicked on this video going, James, I would love to finish 12th in the world, but you're saying this is the standard, every single section C past paper done all of the section A and B questions from the cat plan or BPP text, along with on top of that, the tuition, the core text, the flick notes, yeah. all the rest of it. You, you're basically covering all bases, would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's interesting to know that, so examiner reports, they are, I, I, can't, I, I can't actually name them. They are like gemstones. So they have written everything like everything so if you follow whatever the examiner says whatever the examiner writes there yeah. that's perfect you, you will definitely pass it so yeah i would say examiner reports are one of the key resources as well i completely agree with you i mean because obviously i've got so much free time in my life i was actually yeah. reading a financial management um, external examiner's report and they say at the start they go oh we'll, we'll tell you where students did well and where they could improve and I yeah. read it through and I went, it's about 80, 90% where they could improve and about 10% what sort of went right on there because there's so much value, but so yeah. many students don't use it as a resource. Yeah, exactly.
on there. I mean, the only other ones that, that come to mind are, did you read any of the uh, the technical articles in your preparation? Yes. Yes. Or what, what are the free resources from ACCA uh, did um, you maybe have a look at? Yeah. So like, <laughs> I, I would like to say that usually I, I put things at the end. So I'm sort of, I study before exam actually. But in financial management exam, the other way around those two. I, I took two days like off before exam. So why? Okay. Because I finished all technical articles in the ACCA exam. Wow. I, I didn't read the book. When I came to revision, I didn't read the book. I went for ACCA, FM resources. They actually emailed you. They say one week to go, here are the resources, go for that. So I, I read all the technical articles and they explain things in a plain English, mm. quite understandable and with, with supportive examples that that somehow reflects the real exam. So I went for that and I would like to thank, to, I don't, I can't remember the tutor that was the freelance tutor, Peter, Peter Williams, if I'm mistaken, from Uganda. Mm -hmm. Like right at the end, they will write, this is the article from Peter Williams from Uganda. No, no, so no. that definitely paid off. Before exam, I, I distinctly remember, like in, in 2021, December, optimal capital structure, 10 mark theory question was quite famous, you know. And before exam, I, I just had the scheme. I, I looked through that like exam, uh, like technical article, and I went to the exam. I look at the section C, 10 marks, optimal capital structure. I say, I will nail you. Win -win. Exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> because it was yesterday that I revised you, that's it. Marvellous. And uh, if you've got any, what, what tips would you give out to a student who's maybe got a week or two weeks before the exam? What would you focus on? What would be your key areas for financial management from your opinion? Oh, okay. My first recommendation would be, don't worry, just uh, go with the flow. Just calm down and key areas, focus on working capital, risk management. This is the important topic. Most students will, will uh, so they kind of ignore risk management, but the risk management comes in section B, five questions in section A as well. Mm -hmm. two, two questions, 14 marks, understand. So risk management, business valuation, they will come up and focus on uh, working capital and investment risk. These key topics, they will definitely come up in the exam. Financial management is not a financial management exam without risk management, definitely. working capital and investment appraisal. So go for that definitely. before the exam and you will definitely pass. Yeah. And, and linked into also thinking as if you are a financial manager as to the aspects that they have to consider or the investing, financing decisions, yeah. distribution, yeah. try yeah. and put yourself in the shoes. Maybe you don't work or have never worked in financial management. Yeah. Learn, have a look at the technical articles as to what a financial manager does. And that yeah. will definitely help you, especially with section C, where you've got to type up your own answer, yeah. would you say? Yeah, yeah. Nice on there. Now, uh, Mira Fazal, are there any other final nuggets of information in there that we haven't talked about so far that you couldn't sleep tonight if the viewers didn't know going into their exam? What sort of springs to mind? Yeah, so uh, go for the webinars. Actually, uh, in, in, in YouTube, uh, they have a five day sessions, webinars. So I, I know, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the webinars called like game changer plans, they, they name it like this. Mm -hmm. So uh, the tutor was Rizwan Mania. I don't know, per, perhaps he's from Pakistan. So he explained everything in detail in five webinars from scratch nice. till the end. And I usually plug the, the earphone I, I go on, on the subway, I listen to that man. I, I, and that's it, that's it. I, I made use of the time like wisely and that paid off. Just listen to the webinars. It, ACCA has debriefed like pre-June exam, pre-December exam, mock exam, where students fail, where students go right. So watch that videos. Financial management is not about reading the textbook, solving the questions, that's it, you will pass. Do something extra, something that other students will not do hmm. and that hasn't come to the other student's mind. Do something extra and you will pass with distinction. That's the key. Marvellous, marvellous. I think that's, that's 
I really appreciate your honesty today as to there'll be lots of people who clicked on this video who just went, oh, as I said earlier, wouldn't it be lovely to get 82, James? But the, the standard and the level and the preparation and the time that went into it for you, it, it's, it's mad as to what was the best ways that you managed to break up the financial management syllabus finally? So that if you're working full time, did you did you do some sort of questions in the evening, maybe in the morning? What what sort of balance worked for you? Well, I am actually a night owl, so I, I I usually prepare for exams at night. So because I finish work, uh, university work, I am actually free after 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. From 9 p.m. till 3 or 4 a.m. Right. I, I, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I get two cups of bitter coffee and that's it. Oh, I'm my word. Go to sleep. Yeah. So I'm left with one and a half months and I have to pass this exam. And so what am I supposed to do? Prepare for exam. So, but, but I would like to appreciate that I won't sit in front of computer four hours. Like mm. One hour lesson, one hour chill out. So, right. so it's getting, getting balance excellent. in there. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not like four hours in a row, one hour lesson, one hour like let's say uh, watch some youtube videos watch your football games like manchester city playing with manchester united just go for that <laughs> that's it go for that you'll, you'll get lots of comments in this video now going oh it was going so well but he's a manchester fan so uh do you, do you support man united or man city uh i am actually about man united <laughs> yeah oh my word oh my word well I've got to say, Mira Fazal, thank you so much for your time today, just walking and talking us through. And I've got no doubt that students who follow this are just going to take down the notes. And as long as they implement it and take action, yeah. that could be the difference in not only just getting the 50 plus, but then, as you said, going for those top, top marks that yeah. get, gets you to being first place in Central Asia, which, again, a massive, massive congratulations, because I can tell from speaking with you today that that would have taken a lot out of you and there'll be a lot of sacrifice. So kudos to you, my friend, that, that is fantastic. Have you, uh, have you enjoyed coming on today and having a nice little chit chat? Of course, of course, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I used to follow your YouTube channels and lots of things, how to pass certain exams. So how what techniques all about financial management. I actually liked your video oh. with Tom Clendon, oh, Aaron, nice. Morton, Aaron Morton there, how to pass AA financial SBR. So they are so interesting. And I, I, I looking at the videos, I, I used to say to myself, well, am I going to be in front of James? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You yeah. absolute charmer, Mira Fazal. That's very sweet of you. But uh, if anyone listening would like access to all of those videos and all of my free content, all you need to do, guys, is just subscribe so you don't miss out on any. And also, yeah. Give the video a massive like for Mira Vazal. It's been absolutely super duper for having you on. And I always love to hear how you get on in the FM exam. So leave us a comment below what mark you got, how the revision's going. I'd love to read them and I'll be sure to uh, send the link to the video from Mira, for, for Mira Vazal as well. So any final words of wisdom, bits of motivation? So keep it up. So I, I, I actually, like my wisdom is nobody can teach you better than yourself all right so do everything yourself just understand if you don't understand root learning doesn't help understand the principles if it's very tiny bit you understand it motivate yourself give, give yourself some rewards yeah. at least have a cup of coffee and a bar of chocolate that's it Hey, oh, I like that. I like that. I might have to reward myself with some chocolate now. And uh, and I hope today's <laughs> tips has helped people out that it could be that difference, like we said, just getting them over the line. Yeah. And then one day yeah. we'll meet up at some ACCA CPD event or some yeah. some sort of ACCA event and just go, oh, I remember watching your video all those years ago. And then yeah. we'll be all good on there. But again, Thank you so much for today, Mira Fazal. Really enjoyed it. And like I said, guys, leave us a comment. Hey, get on. And my last bit is, you'll be fine. Maybe, maybe yeah. enjoy it, Mira Fazal. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, on that bombshell, as always, we'll see you next time.
Cheers.